Hey everyone, I'm Dan and welcome back to another Jagged Alliance news update. Today I'll be discussing 1.11 patch release, the developer interview, 500 beta keys for Jagged Alliance online, and the hidden cutscenes. So let's get started. As most of you know by now, patch 1.11 finally made it out. Hitting Steam and oh my god, actually two patches were released at once, that being 1.10 and 1.11. I wonder where I heard that one before. As you may or may not have noticed, a few days back Michael released a posting stating that there will be two major patches, and most probably both will be released simultaneously as one big patch. The patch itself isn't a content patch, but more of a common sense slash bug fixer. I'm very happy with what they've done with it. It probably needs like another three of these patches, but who knows, they're working on it and we just have to see how it progresses. And from looking at the polls you answered, I'm pretty sure most of you are at it again. Poor Arulko, how it must put up with this. On another note, Michael had released the developer's interview post, which answers some of the questions that some of you would like to ask him. How many people are working for Jagged Alliance 2, back in action, and Jagged Alliance 2 online? And how big is the team? Well, suppose it's 13 people are working on it for Jagged Alliance back in action. For the core play, including level designers, programmers, game designers, and graphic artists, along with the bit composer Q&A team, and the producers who supervise the development process. Regarding the Jagged Alliance Online cliffhanger, around 20 people have been working on it directly, including the producers. Or a more interesting question such as, are you planning to release of map or mercenary or item editors? The answer to that is, no editors are anticipated at the moment, but there are plans to expand the game. All links for everything are in the description, so I won't bother going through all of them. And let's move on. 500 beta keys for Jagged Alliance Online were up for grabs for the first 500 people who would send an email with the subject Jagged Alliance Online. Yay, and yes, I did send an email, but only after the post had reached 534 views. So nope, didn't get one, and the chances of you getting one by the time you see this is practically none. Now, for the interesting part, it seems that Wooden, after digging around in the files, found that some scenes have been cut, slashed, disabled. Whatever you'd like to call it. Funnily enough, Michael did reply to it, saying, I'm sure with the biggest smile on his face, that he would deny that. So whenever it may be, be ready for a patch or expansion that may unlock several more side quests in your game. You can be sure of that, as I did manage to bump into the post, where K is asking what's up with the bag of diamonds worth 45k, upon which Mike replies that the diamonds are part of the quest, which will be revealed after on in the game. To end it on another note, I found an interesting post where Luca decided to try out different uniform patterns on his mercs. Here, take a look and you might get inspired. Leave your comments below in regards to which one you think looks the best. I think the dude in white at the bottom row looks quite classy, sort of funny running around like that with an automatic rifle. Well that's it for this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to see the previous news episode, just click on the link as well. See you around and take care.